Today I'm doing a 23 mile challenge walk, the Kettlewell. It's hosted by the North Yorkshire Long Distance Walkers Association. Well, it's just after half past seven and the car park is uh, filling up. Right, I'm off to the village hall in Kettlewell where the registration is. Here we are at the village hall. Right, going for registration and tin toast. Well, we're getting ready to uh, to start now. Right, off we go. Well, here we start the climb out of Catterwell. And the climb goes on. Right, well I'm looking for a, a bucket drop now and I can see a marshal ahead. Right, here we have the bucket drop. Yeah. It's, 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 what have we got in there? Oh, there's a few in. Yeah. Right. Well, that's the bucket drop done and we must be really approaching the top of our first climb of today out of Kettlewell. The thing to do when you're approaching stars like this is not to rush, it's to take your time so you don't queue. So you just can carry on when you get there. Well, we must be approaching the uh, the top now. Um, I don't know how much climb we've done, possibly about a thousand foot. Um, I've done 4.26 kilometers. I think some of the runners that are passing me now are possibly those that set off at half past eight, whereas most of the people set off at quarter past. What fantastic scenery. I really do like the, uh, the Yorkshire Dales. Right, I've just cropped up four miles and uh, it's taken about an hour. Well, that's where I've just come from and uh, that's where I'm heading to. Well, I've just come over the stile behind me and a few people have gone wrong, missed it. Um, whoops. Well, the three in front who went wrong, they've now caught me back up again. But uh, the navigation around this farm has been a bit, uh, bit tricky. Well, it's five to ten and I'm coming into uh, Brassington now. Well, it's uh, 10 o'clock and uh, we're by the river in Grassington. Well, I've just clocked eight miles and hopefully I'll be coming to a checkpoint in a bit. Right, just coming up to checkpoint one and uh, I'll have to get my tally ready. I'm number 85. Well, well, this is one of the advantages of doing an LDWA event. Look at the spread at track point one. Fill your boots. Right, that's track point one. I've had uh, plenty to drink and uh, quite a bit to eat. I spend really too long in checkpoints, but uh, you might as well make the most of them. And off we go again. Right, public footpath, Threshfield, three quarter of a mile. Well, another group of runners on my left who've gone wrong. So I've just pointed them out that they should be going this way. So they're now coming over to me. It's absolutely glorious. Well, I'm coming up more lane now and there's going to be a self clip head. So I've got to make sure I don't miss the self clip. Right, looks like the self clip straight ahead. Well, that's the self clip, and uh, and that's my tally clipped. I well, have some glams in the field. Perhaps spring is on the way. Got lots of daffodils. Well, here we are, checkpoint two at Wood Nook. 
I'm just leaving the campsite at Woodnook and uh, we must have some climbing to do because according to my GPS we've probably not done much over 1500 foot of ascent and I, th I think there's probably about three and a half thousand in total uh, this is quite a, a nice path steady climb I've just clocked 13 miles and it's uh, half past 11 well according to the US map I'm now passing through an area which was once a Roman camp but I can't see any traces of it and as I've passed the, uh, through the Roman camp I've just clocked 15 miles right I've done 15 and a half miles and I'm now looking for checkpoint 3 amongst these cars somewhere well here we are at uh, checkpoint 3 and uh, look at all these goodies here oh what I'm gonna have well I've just left checkpoint 3 after eating three slices of ginger cake and you went down the treat I've just clocked 18 miles and uh, it's quarter to one now and hopefully I'll have a, a downhill stretch because I don't seem to be doing nothing but walking up at the moment looks like I've got a nice downhill section now down to the next checkpoint absolutely superb scenery ahead but that hill in front is between me and the finish in Kettlewell oh, fantastic scenery and I don't think I'll be too far off now the final checkpoint before I uh, do the final ascent and drop down into Kettlewell right so you can see the checkpoint ahead here we go it's on the left I'm just leaving the uh, the final checkpoint and they told me it's two and a half miles back to Kettlewell but now I've got to climb ahead I've had two pieces of flapjack and a drink well I've just clocked 21 miles and, uh, and the climb begins I'm on tired legs now so I think I might have to take this uh, this steady Hey up, this doesn't look promising, it's getting steeper. Well before I just head over the top of the hill and down into Catuel, I just take a, a look at where I've been walking today. I've just completed 22 miles, I can now see Catuel and the time is quarter to two. Uh, this descent into Kettlewell is uh, it's a bit tricky actually well here we are Kettlewell it actually took longer coming down than what I think it did going up because it was a bit tricky well it's uh, two o'clock and, uh, and we're back right these are the uh, stats for today's walk 23 miles and this is the meal at the end of the walk 